What's up everybody, PG Braun here, president of Blackstone Labs, and it's day two with CJ and Keon, and we're at a different gym today. We're at Busy Body East. Coming off that fun chest workout yesterday, we're gonna do some back today. We're gonna get into a lot of basics today, but some variations of basics with a really rough burnout at the end. We're gonna hit it hard, and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna go get into it right now. All right guys, so first exercise today, we're doing a lot of rows today. So I like to put these individual grips on the seated pulley row. Rather than using the fixed handle, I still use the fixed handles as well, but when you have these individual grips, you can really pull them apart far and adjust them to your body type and get a farther range of motion so you can really come forward and then contract back real, real far. You're not stuck here like you are with a normal handle. So sometimes I'll do this exercise in the end and sometimes I'll do it in the beginning. Today we're going to do this in the beginning to get a lot of blood going in. So one thing that we're not going to do is overextend at the end. We're actually just going to come till our scapula are all the way out, and then retract them all the way back. Nice, good rhythm. And we're gonna get our blood going with these before we go into all the other rowing exercises today. The name of the game today is rows. We're gonna do five sets of 15 reps of these and just keep going heavier each set. Good, I know, right? <laughs> you got any three X? I don't know if we have three X. I'll look and see. Okay, because it was tight on your my biceps. Three X might be tight on your biceps too. <laughs> I think the ones you gave me, the gray ones, are three X. I'll look in. Uh, I'll look and see. And those are t <laughs> those are tight. But these, I, I was like, oh, I need more of these. You get a lot of blood going in there. Good. 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 Nice. Good. Good. Keep moving through. There you go. Good. 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 I'm 
on. Good. Keep it going. Ha. Two more. One more. Good job. One more time through from that. See that? Oh. Look how small this belt is. Only one. Look how small this belt is. Hold on. I'm in pretty good shape right now. Let's see how let's see how this belt is on me. Can I even touch it? Oh, I can touch it. Think I could get the prodigy's belt on? <laughs> Not too bad for Not too bad. an old fat bum. This is a small, small belt, man. <laughs> Look at the size of this belt. That's how you know his waist is, is really small. When you can put that belt in your pocket. <laughs> Last one. Last one. Good. Squeeze. Good. Good. Come on. Good. Keep it going. Good. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Good. Oh no, but. Come on, Tuesday. Come on. Good. Good. It's hard. Come on. Squeeze. There you go. Good. 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 There you go. Come on. Good. Very good. Follow me. All right, guys. So. I'm circling back to my roots a lot this past year and I spent years and years doing underhand barbell rows because one of my original idols in bodybuilding was Dorian Yates and most people argue that the likes of Ronnie Coleman that he had the best back of all time. So he didn't start with the best back of all time, he earned it. And this is an exercise that was the bread and butter of his workout. I did this exercise for years as well. So. The difference between an underhand barbell row and an overhand barbell row is actually pretty significant. If you guys have been following along in the videos, we did these with Stephen Wayne and he wasn't used to doing them, he loved them. So, with an underhand barbell row, you're going shoulder width, right where your, your arms naturally hang is where your grip is gonna be. You get your base set and with a normal barbell row, you're bent all the way over. With an underhand barbell row, you get yourself into your proper posture first chest is arched up, scapula is back, and you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna come down right to about the top of your knee. So this is not a normal traditional bent all the way over row. You're gonna be up closer to 70 degrees. Now when you pull in, your elbows are gonna stay close to your body, core is tight, and you're pulling into where the bottom of your belt would be. Then back down. Most important, you gotta pull your scapula back when you do it. So if he zooms in on the side, you can see and I'm pulling my scapula back as much as I can. That's what really engages your lats hard. Now by keeping your elbows in when you do this, you fire your lower lat in the insertion like crazy. This is the exercise that'll give you that meat in the bottom, bottom, bottom portion of your lats that really comes out in your back lat spread. This is a true, true mass building exercise. These guys are gonna go heavy. They're not gonna get sloppy with their form, of course, but we're gonna go heavy on these. This is gonna be the main heavy exercise that we do today. We're doing four sets in the eight to 10 rep range. And we'll do one easy set first to make sure everybody's doing the form the right way. I usually just start with a, with a plate on each side. So you've never done these, right? Good, I'm glad I'm teaching you. It's gonna make, make your already really good back even better. You done these before? Yes, I... Are you done underhand? You done underhand before? Yeah, I, do, I used to do uh, overhand, underhand, but I stayed away from them for a while because of my lower back. This one will be safer for you than a, than a regular bent over. Yeah, that's why I try to do low rows. Because you can, you can stay very upright on these. When they, when they came out with the low row machine, that's the reason why I stay. You know, because you hit the same movement. So I, because I, of my back. Just be real straight. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's funny, I used to roll with four plates. I believe it when I was at my strongest I was too. Yeah. Not not with the best form, but good. Squeeze me here hard. Bend your knee just a little bit, Keanu. Bend your knees. Yep. Bend your knee just a little bit. Boom. Like a good. Squeeze here hard. Good. Good. 
look up at yourself. There you go. There you go. Squeeze you. Let your arms hang like this. Try to drag your elbows against your lats. Like if you're trying to squeeze your lats into your arms, basically, that's when you do it. There you go. Good, looks good. Squeeze, yep. This shit's firing hard, there you go. Good. good. I see people doing these all the time where they're jerking the weight around like crazy. And I also see them rocking their upper bodies up and down like crazy. So what happens when you do that is you're working your thoracic lumbar and your erectors a lot. Which I suppose if you want to work those muscles, then you can. You're increasing your risk of injury, but you're not hitting your lats the right way. So you want to be fixed in position where your scapula is doing all the work. Drag your arms right here.
That was good. Wouldn't be a true brawn fitness workout without some sort of giant set action, which is what we're gonna get into now. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through this. Exercise number one is gonna be the T by row up here. We're pulling our elbows up nice and high on these, okay? Now we're gonna focus on hitting across the upper back. Then from here, we're gonna walk right over here. And we're gonna do a stiff arm pull down with the rope. We want them all the way over 90 degrees. This is mimicking a dumbbell pullover, but much, much safer on the joints. Great, great stretch exercise. This is gonna hit in the insertion at the bottom all the way up. Then from there, once they're opened all the way back up again, since we didn't do overhand barbell rows today, we're gonna do overhand pulley rows. And on these, I want them pulling it basically right to sternum level, here, a little higher. So we're gonna get a little bit more mid back with that. So they're covering everything right now in these three exercises. So one person will go, when the other person's done, the other person will go, and that's their rest periods. We're shooting for 15s on this where your pumps can start going crazy. Good. 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 So arms are all the way stretched out. There you go. Feel it from here. Squeeze hard. Concentrate on hard. Keep those elbows in all the way. because I want to make sure that your form, your form is going to move this So you're pulling it right up. Close. Your, right up to the bottom of your chest, okay? My hands right here? Yep. I'm going to squeeze through here hard. There you go. Good. Come on. 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 Come on.
Come on. Five weeks. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's squeeze. Ah. Good. Good. Ah. Good. Good. Ah. Good. Good. Ah. Good. 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 There you go. Nice. Come on. Squeeze. One last time. Get it. Ready to make stop. Get in your head, Keon. Get in your head. Get in your head. Get in your head. Less than six weeks to the Olympia. Yeah, fucking right. Fucking animal. Let's go, baby. There you go. Come on. Come on. Got it. Let's go. Pull. Boom. Boom. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Come on, baby. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Oh, burn on him. I feel like I got a midget right here. That's a, that's a bullet pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. 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 Come on, move it. Let's go. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move it. Come on. Pull. Come on. Good. Let's go. Eight. Four. Come on. Another one. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. There you go. I'm long and long. <laughs> I got that. I got that long reach. <laughs> Get it down there. <laughs> Good. 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 Come on. Good. Extra in there, a little extra. Nice. Last set, let's throw a little extra in there. Break down. Sweet heart. Gotta get a little extra. Come on. Come on. Good. 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 Nice. Good. 
<laughs> Good. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. That's good right there. All right, so this is a variation of this lap pull down machine. I actually have messed around with this a bunch of different times, and I like it both ways, but this is actually a safer way to do a behind the neck pull down. So when you get in this machine backwards, what you're gonna wanna do is anchor your feet behind you like this, so you're not shaking around. So that, that, that takes the swing out of it. You won't be able to swing at all, which is I don't want in the first place. Now, so when you grab on, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your scapula, which is your shoulder blades, back. So this is how you'd be in a normal lat pull down. You want them back. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna drive your elbows straight down and back with it, like this, squeezing your upper back really, really hard. So this is basically a very safe and easy way to work those muscles that you work in a behind the neck pull down without having to pull around your head and it's a lot safer on the shoulder. It's a great, great isolation exercise. A lot of people are scared to do behind the neck exercises. I actually love them and I have bad shoulders. You just have to use strict form and focus on the squeeze. This is the last exercise they're doing and we're gonna do a little old school six sets of 20 on these just to finish it up. This is one of those ones that you feel it when when you stop and you put your arms back down, you feel the blood start coming across a lot more. It's really good. Yeah. Very safe, very, very comfortable. Smooth. Oh yeah. You feel it once you get off the machine. Yeah, when you get uh, off the machine. I, I, like, I do these a lot. Yeah. The back of one, like the numbers type one. Yeah, just, and, and then you can do them on different machines too. So. Not yeah, yeah. Good job, baby. Good job. I love working. Oh, I love working right angles on backs. <laughs> Sometimes I'll sit up like this and I'll do it. Oh. Come on, see. Like I like working like moving up. Like, yeah. Move, yeah, because it just it hits the, the lat a little different every single time. Just trying to bring out width and thickness. So
Just your range of motion compared to mine, you know what I mean? Like how your muscles are compact compared to mine. So this is the fourth one we just did, so we got two more. We need to do some work. That's all it is. Keep going. Keep going. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Three. Five. Four. Two. Come on. You got it. One more. You got it. Squeeze. Good job, man. Good job. Best shot of the day. Good job, man. Good job. Good, good finish, man. Good finish. Come on. Good motivate. Good motivate. Good motivate. Let's go. We working. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Good. Come on, drive it, All you got. All you got. All you got. Come on. Let's go. Good. Drive it. Come on. Drive it, C. Come on. Let's go. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yep. There you go. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, PJ. Give me five. Give me five. Come on. Four. Three. Come on. Two. Come on. One more. One more. Good. Yeah, that was an intense back workout. So now they're they're two for two for impressing me with how hard they were working. Pretty good. I don't like being disappointed. They went really hard. Um, if you guys are curious of the outlines of the way that I usually do things, it's one isolation isolation exercise in the beginning that is kind of like your pre-exhaust warm up. Then it's one compound movement that we usually go three or four working sets of eight to ten then your giant set rotations be four times so giant set for me most of the time is three exercises and you run through that and then you finish up with the isolation so I'm not saying you have to do six sets here you can do five maybe you can do seven like the FSC seven which is seven sets of 15 I had them do six sets of 20 mathematically it all works out pretty similar it's just about stimulating the muscle from all these angles and then at the end flushing the fascia with as much blood as possible because the fascia on your muscle it's kind of like if you imagine the skin on a piece of fruit right and it's gonna restrict how much the muscle can expand but if you keep forcing blood in there like crazy and you can stretch that fascia in theory you should be able to grow faster because the muscle has no choice but to grow when all that blood is being pumped in there. And that's why we finish like that, which is blood flow, blood flow, blood flow. You can actually change around your isolation ex exercises all the time for your finishers. Um, I just wanted to specifically do this one because in my mind I was visualizing them doing back double biceps and seeing all the bubbles popping out in the back. And that's why I wanted to finish with those, but they both killed it. That's day two. You guys want to add anything? Yeah, look. Can we drop on here? No, 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 no. We'll go to the back if we're gonna we're gonna right. We're Where's five it? and a half weeks out. Mr. Five Olympia. and a half right now. About five and a half. Yeah, Wednesday. Oh, a little bit, yeah. A lot of stuff in the happen these last few weeks. So it's good that we're working together as well, pushing each other, motivating. We're gonna be on the same stage. Friends on friends and off friends on and off, but at the same time, you know, battling it out. And uh, that's the good thing about this sport is, you know, camaraderie. So, uh, you know, helping each other, pushing each other in and outside the gym, you know, being there for each other. But, you know, ultimately he's trying to beat me, I'm trying to beat him and, and so on and so forth. But just the camaraderie again, it's just a, a great feeling just pushing each other. So, good thing we got PJ here too. Uh, great guy, expertise in a lot of different areas. So it's just, you know, knowing what he knows and passing it on to the, the youth and, and educating us at the same time. So that's, that's the great thing about it as well, you know, passing it down as in a, a, a university in a sense. I know. told him I'd buy him his next cheat meal if he said something nice about me at the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just take one second to appreciate Katie in full Blackstone Labs apparel right now? This is frightening my dad. That's how I end up with it. A lot of blood in there. Too much blood. Even on those low days. I'm gonna see myself a little bit.
You're actually a little drier than you were yesterday. The light's not as good in here? No, it's shitty. But I, just looking at your physique, you're a little drier than you were yesterday. Yeah, the lighting sucks in here. Yeah, it's terrible. Because it uh, washes everything out. Yeah, it does. See, it's like tighter. You feel a lot more comfortable on the other side, huh? Yeah. yeah I can tell. Yeah. Nobody has one side that they like more than the other. Let's get back for you. Lift your chest a little higher. There you go. Good. Oh. Good. Full. Oh. Very. But even like even your erectors are full right now. Popping. Too much. That's the big version. 